Welcome to study the Bible with me. Last time we read Exodus up to chapter 33. Today we are starting from Exodus chapter 34. If you are new here, I'm reading from the KJV. So grab your Bible and let's dig right in. Exodus chapter 34. And the Lord said unto Moses, Hear thee two tables of stone like unto the first. And I will write upon these tables of the words that were in the first tables which thou breakest. And be ready in the morning, and come up in the morning unto Mount Sinai, and present thyself there to me in the top of the mount. And no man shall come up with thee, neither let any man be seen throughout all the mount, neither let the flocks nor herds feed before that mount. And he hewed two tables of stone like unto the first. And Moses rose up early in the morning, and went up unto Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, and took in his hands the two tables of stone. And the Lord descended in the cloud, and stood with him there, and proclaimed the name of the Lord. And the Lord passed by before him, and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering, and abundant in goodness and truth keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and that will by no means clear the guilt, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children and to the third and to the fourth generation. And Moses made haste and bowed his head toward the earth and worshipped. And he said, If now I have found grace in thy sight, O Lord, let my Lord, I pray thee, go among us, for it is a stiff-necked people, and pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us for thine inheritance. And he said, Behold, I make a covenant. Before all thy people I will do marvels, such as have not been done in all the earth, nor in any nation, and all the people among which thou art shall see the work of the Lord. For it is a terrible thing that I will do with thee. Observe thou that which I command thee this day. Behold, I drive out before thee the Amorite, and the Canaanite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Hivite, and the Jebusite. Take heed to thyself, lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land whither thou goest, lest it be for a snare in the midst of thee. But ye shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their groves. For thou shalt worship no other god, for the Lord whose name is Jealousy is a jealousy god. Lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitant of the land, and they go a whoring after their gods, and do sacrifice unto their gods, and one call thee, and thou eat of his sacrifice. And thou take of their daughters unto thy sons, and their daughters go a whoring after their gods, and make thy sons go a whoring after their gods. Thou shalt make thee no molten gods. The feast of unleavened bread shalt thou keep. Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, as I commanded thee in the time of the month Abib. For in the month Abib thou comest out from Egypt. All that openeth the matrix is mine, and every fastling among thy cattle, whether ox or sheep, that is male. But the fastling of an ass thou shalt redeem with a lamb, and if thou redeem him not, then shalt thou break his neck. All the firstborn of thy sons thou shalt redeem, and none shall appear before me empty. Six days thou shalt work, but on the seventh day thou shalt rest. In earing time and in harvest thou shalt rest. And thou shalt observe the feast of weeks, of the first fruits of wheat harvest, and the feast of ingathering at the year's end. Thrice in the year shall all your men, children, appear before the Lord God, the God of Israel. For I will cast out the nations before thee, and enlarge thy borders, neither shall any man desire thy land. When thou shalt go up to appear before the Lord thy God thrice in the year, thou shalt not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leaven, neither shall the sacrifice of the feast of the Passover be left unto the morning. The first of the first fruits of thy land thou shalt bring unto the house of the Lord thy God. 
thou shalt not seth a, a kid in his mother's milk. And the Lord said unto Moses, Write thou these words, for after the tenor of these words I have made a covenant with thee and with Israel. And he was there with the Lord forty days and forty nights. He did neither eat bread nor drink water, and he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. And it came to pass, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tables of testimony in Moses' hand, when he came down from the mount, that Moses wist not that the skin of his face shone while he talked with him. And when Aaron and all the children of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come nigh him. And Moses called unto them, and Aaron and all the rulers of the congregation returned unto him, and Moses talked with them. And afterward all the children of Israel came nigh, and he gave them in commandment all that the Lord had spoken with him in Mount Sinai. Until Moses had done speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But when Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he took the veil off until he came out. And he came out and spake unto the children of Israel that which he was commanded. And the children of Israel saw the face of Moses, that the skin of Moses' face shone. And Moses put the veil upon his face again until he went in to speak with him. Chapter 35 and Moses gathered all the congregation of the children of Israel together, and said unto them, These are the words which the Lord hath commanded, that ye should do them. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day there shall be to you an holy day, a Sabbath of the rest of the Lord. Whosoever doeth work therein shall be put to death. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. And Moses spake unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which the Lord commanded, saying, Take ye from among you an offering unto the Lord. Whosoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it, an offering of the Lord, gold and silver and brass, and blue and purple and scarlet and fine linen and goat's hair, and ram skins dyed red, and badger's skins and shittim wood and oil for the light and spices for anointing oil, and for the sweet incense, and onyx stones and stones to be set for the effort and for the breastplate. And every wise-hearted among you shall come and make all that the Lord hath commanded, the tabernacle, his tent, and his covering, his touches and his boards, his bars, his pillars, and his sockets, the ark and the staves thereof, with a massy seat and the veil of the covering, the table and his staves and all his vessels and the shoe bread, the candlestick also for the light and his furniture and his lamps with the oil for the light and the incense altar and his staves and the anointing oil and the sweet incense and the hanging for the door at the entering in the tabernacle. The altar of burnt offering with his breast and grate, his staves and all his vessels, the laver and his foot, the hangings of the court, his pillars and their sockets, the hanging for the door of the court, the pins of the tabernacle and the pins of the court and their cords, the cloth of service to do service in the holy place, the holy garment for Aaron and the priest, and the garments of his sons to minister in the priest's office. And all the congregation of the children of Israel departed from the presence of Moses. And they came, every one whose heart stirred him up, and every one whom his spirit made willing. And they brought the Lord's offering to the work of the tabernacle of the congregation, and for all his service, and for the holy garments. And they came both men and women, as many as were willing-hearted, and brought bracelets and earrings and rings and tablets, all jewels of gold. And every man that offered, offered an offering of gold unto the Lord. And every man with whom was found blue and purple and scarlet and fine linen and goat's hair and red skins of rams and badger's skins brought them. Every one that did offer an offering of silver and brass brought the Lord's offering, and every man with whom was found shitting wood for any work for the service brought it. 
and all the women that were wise hearted did spin with their hands and brought that which they had spun both of blue and of purple and of scarlet and of fine linen and all the women whose heart stirred them up in wisdom spun god's hair and the rulers brought onyx stones and stones to be set for the effort and for the breastplate and spice and oil for the light and for the anointing oil and for the sweet incense the children of israel brought a willing offering unto the lord every man and woman whose heart made them willing to bring for all manner of work which the lord had commanded to be made by the hand of moses and moses said unto the children of israel see the lord hath called by name bezalel the son of uri the son of ha of the tribe of judah and he hath filled him with the spirit of god in wisdom in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship and to devise curious works to work in gold and in silver and in brass and in the cutting of stones to set them and in carving of wood to make any manner of cunning work and he hath put in his heart that he may teach both he and aholiab the son of ahisamach of the tribe of dan them hath he filled with wisdom of heart to work all manner of work of the engraver and of the cunning workman and of the embroiderer in blue and in purple in scarlet and in fine linen and of the weaver even of them that do any work and of those that devise cunning work all right guys it's been a great reading today we are looking at the specifications and the work of the tabernacle of god well i'll be ending here today next time we're going to be starting our reading from chapter 36 hope you will join me again next time so let's do this together let's read together if you're on this journey with me please uh, leave a comment and let me know that i'm and, and write a comment saying i'm on this journey with you i'll be so glad to know that i have some people that are moving with on this journey it's a reading it's it's literally it doesn't have any dramatic expressions to it well i'm expecting the other person on the other side is probably also holding their bible or putting the putting this uh, reading in their ears more like a podcast but it's not a podcast to listen to and get to read the word along with me yes uh hopefully you are enjoying it because i'm really enjoying this reading i'll catch you again next time bye